Hey guys, Brian Logue here from SixHatsRecording.com and today we are putting on our mix engineer hat. Hey guys, Brian Loke here from SixHatsRecording.com. Today we're putting on our Mix Engineer hat, and I talked in a video recently about saturation and how you should saturate, saturate, saturate. And I wanna show you why saturation is so cool. So this is gonna be slightly annoying, but bear with me. Um, I have right here a uh, sine wave generator, and it's gonna, pr it's gonna produce just a pure tone. No harmonic overtones or undertones, just a pure tone. And then I'll show you what saturation does to it. So here's our sine wave. Right there, you can see it at 1K. Uh, sitting, sitting right around 1K. And I'm using this soft tube saturator. Watch what happens here. All right, did you catch that? So what the, you know I love this soft tube saturation knob. Uh, I use it on everything. It was free from soft tube. I think it still is if you want to go over there and download it. It's really good. So when you're doing, when you're adding saturation to a sound, you're actually adding harmonic content. So let me show you this again. I'm going to pull the fader down so you can't hear it, um, but I just want to show it to you. There's our sine wave rolling up the soft tube saturation knob and you'll see all this harmonic content coming in right here on the screen and the more I push it the more harmonic content is coming up now this isn't uh, harmonics that's, that was already in there there's a sine wave those were not in there in the beginning so by adding saturation you're adding harmonics on the top and of course when you hit it really hard it distorts and you'll hear a distortion sound um, so you want to find that sweet spot depending on the source vocals, drums, guitars, whatever you're saturating, where it doesn't necessarily sound distorted or broken up, unless that's what you're going for, but where it doesn't sound distorted or broken up, but where you are starting to see some of this harmonic content creep in. It's going to sweeten up your sound, give you a little sizzle on the top end, or uh, just make things sound sweeter. Your ear's really going to like it. So that's what saturation does. I hope this helps you guys out as you're thinking about distortion or saturation and how you can use this on different signal sources um, and apply it to your mixes. So for more tips and tricks, check out sixhatsrecording.com. See you guys next time.